So now let's try some prompts. What I've done is create a presentation of 20 uses of ChatGPT for teachers, and I've included the prompt. So it's about 45 pages of ideas with specific prompts written out. So what I'm gonna do is forward through a couple of these slides with you now. I'm gonna show you some prompt ideas. And then what I think you should do is open up another tab on your browser and have this tab open. And then you can go back and forth between the two and come up with some prompt ideas of your own. Now, remember, you need to address something happening in your class. So obviously these are just ideas. They're things that are common with all teachers. So maybe these would be appropriate for you, maybe not, but find something that will be helpful for you in your class, in your lesson for tomorrow with a situation at school, uh, maybe a lesson you want to rework or you want to repurpose. It's getting a little bit stale. I've used ChatGPT a lot to rethink my, my older lessons, the lessons I've been using for a year or two. And so um, what you do is up to you. I'm gonna just forward through a couple of these. So obviously we've talked about lesson plans, ChatGPT can generate these quickly. You can add essential elements like objectives, assessments, activities, do now, hook activity. Um, you can align to the standards of your state or your region. So make sure you're being specific. And here's a prompt uh, example. So generate a lesson for a fifth grade math class on fractions. Generate a five word or sorry, create five word problems to accompany this lesson. Or find an educational video on YouTube for elementary age students that illustrates fractions in simple terms and visuals. So yes, you can ask ChatGPT to find videos for you to accompany any lesson that you currently have or that ChatGPT is outlining for you. Um, again, I mentioned essential questions. Here are a couple prompt ideas. Create an essential question for this lesson on blank for sixth grade students. Now you can copy and paste that lesson right into ChatGPT after that prompt. So that will give you the most effective response. Um, SWBAT students will be able to is an acronym we, we use in my district. So I would do write ideas for SWBAT for a lesson on the solar system that supports blank, whatever my learning objective is for that particular lesson. IEP goals, this is another great prompt idea. Um, it can assist in developing goals for kids with specific needs. So here are a couple of prompt ideas for that. Develop three IEP goals for a student with dyslexia who's struggling with reading comp comprehension. Write an IEP goal that focuses on a seventh grade student's ability to communicate effectively with peers and adults. Or develop an IEP goal that focuses on the student's ability to solve math problems. So again, let's be specific about the student and their needs and always um, the age or the grade of the student as well. ChatGPT is excellent at finding or creating templates for you. So again, I have a whole bunch of template prompts here. Um, again, I'm, I'm going to put this presentation in the resources section of this section so that you have access to it. Differentiation. This is a big one for me. I really love this. I can actually just differentiate right on the spot. So here's an example prompt. Provide three ideas for how to differentiate instruction for a group of third grade students who are struggling with blank math concept. Or write five ways I can differentiate my instruction to meet the diverse needs of my sixth grade math class and give specific examples of each. So super effective way to differentiate. Uh, providing feedback, I love this with students who are writing. I actually will paste the writing into ChatGPT and then put this prior or right after, provide feedback on this ninth grade student's essay on the causes of the American Revolution. So again, these are all suggestions for feedback. You're never gonna copy and paste anything directly from ChatGPT, but you can certainly start a dialogue with your students based on the feedback of ChatGPT, and they can give very good feedback on writing. Creating vocabulary lists to go along with assignments. So um, you can have ChatGPT create it just from scratch. For an example, provide a list of 10 vocabulary words related to the Civil War for a high school history class. Now, remember, you want if you want to be specific to your lesson or to something that you had the students read, you can just copy and paste the lesson 
or the article or whatever it is that you want to generate the vocabulary from right into the chatbot to make sure that it's as specific as possible. Generating permission slips is another idea. Um, I put this one on the bottom here because sometimes they're very specific. So generate a permission slip for a fourth grade student to be included in a video filmed by a local news team. Include boxes to be checked if a student is allowed to be on camera and if a student is not allowed to be on camera. So think about those little one-off situations where you need to either create a handout for ch children to bring home or you need to send an email to parents creating permission slips or letters to let them know that there's an event happening, ChatGPT can do this for you so quickly. And I know that I've spent an awful lot of time writing the perfect email to parents, making sure it's, you know, includes everything. And it's just such a time saver to have ChatGPT help with these types of things. Um, the, the next one is fantastic. So ChatGPT can write, uh, provide translations of reading, pa of reading passages for students who were ELL, English as a second language. So I love this because what I'll just do is translate the reading in ChatGPT. So I will paste the reading, then I will ask ChatGPT to translate it into the three languages that we translate um, all of our materials in my school, which is Spanish, Portuguese, and Haitian Creole. So it'll do it right in the chatbot, which is wonderful. Then you can just copy and paste. And then instead of having to use Google Docs to translate, you can just take those three um, translations and plop them right into your lesson. Providing multiple writing prompts is another wonderful way to use ChatGPT. So provide three unique writing prompts for a creative writing assignment in a high school English class in the sci-fi genre, or create a writing prompt that relates to the themes of Kill a Mockingbird. Now you can be as specific as create a writing prompt that relates to the overarching themes in chapter one of To Kill a Mockingbird. You can get as specific as that with um, these, these uh, ELA type prompts. So, or really any of those prompts that, that I mentioned before as the more specific, the more specific, the better. And I know my ELA teachers at school love this because they, maybe they gave a homework assignment to read chapter two and now they wanna go in and make sure the students really understood or just give them some, very easy writing prompts based on um, maybe character development in that chapter and they don't have to go back through the chapter you can actually have ChatGPT pull the section out of the chapter um, and the the uh, students you can just lift it from um, ChatGPT and put it into a prompt either in google classroom or google docs it just makes it so much easier. You don't have to go through with your highlighter looking for these prompts. So there are another 20 pages of prompt ideas. I'm gonna stop here, but again, I'm putting this presentation into the resources and that way you can go through and take a look at these prompt ideas. I will also include two additional uh, presentations. One that is prompt ideas for K through five math and one which is prompt ideas for K through five science. So those are just some specific areas that I thought would be helpful for our teachers, our younger age teachers who are um, busy. And this is a, a tough thing for um, anybody to grasp at this point in the school year or at any time in the school year. So just hoping that'll make it a little bit easier. So enjoy, take some time, play, make some prompts. Again, think about what you need in your class tomorrow or next week or, you know, in the near future, you could kick off the school year with a whole lot of resources. So good luck and I'll see you in the next video.